since its days as a Dutch colonial outpost named Batavia to its rise to a global megacity. Food in the Indonesian capital, Jakarta, has evolved, from street food to luxurious chain restaurants. But Jakarta also has a fine reputation for Chinese food. Many of its gems are, however, hidden. So we met up with one man who knows where to look. William Wongso is Indonesia's foremost culinary expert, from cooking for Hillary Clinton to managing his extensive portfolio of restaurants. He took us to three of the city's best eateries. People keep asking me how to become a chef. Chef is like a, a conductor. Before you become a chef, you have to be a player. Like you, you become a musician before you as a conductor. It's the same thing in the food. I had a great interest in taste. I thought to be adventurous. Since I was a kid, I, my dad uh, let me taste anything. Cooking is not just to cook the food. You know, it's a lot of things behind it. It's an art. You have to cook with your heart and uh, you, you should know what you are doing. I think the restaurant scene in Jakarta for the last 10 years is very dynamic. People only see the, the, the glamours of the new coming, of uh, restaurant, train, everything. But you see the population in Jakarta is, let's say, 12 million, right? And I would say 98% uh, on a daily basis, I eat in the local food. Nobody calculates how much is the potential, the turnover of the street food in Jakarta compared to those established restaurants. But again, the, the old, which is the memorable cooking, the food that we grew up with, have anything because there's not much doer. The new trend people want to be part of the lifestyle. You can uh, cook and the chef, open a nice restaurant, but those kind of establishments, it's hard to sustain. Located in the diplomatic district of Menteng, Trio has been serving Hokkien delicacies since 1947. This humble restaurant has held onto its charming old town feel and has not moved since its establishment 65 years ago. Try the fried frog with butter or the beef tongue. Established in the center of town in the 1950s, Mandala has become a household name for many Indonesians. Don't be put off by the restaurant's eccentric decor. Focus instead on the fried squid and oyster sauce or the fried rice with crab. Amidst the hustle and bustle of the Chinese food district of Pluit, in the north of the city, Fong Tu is a 20-year-old Chinese restaurant that specializes in Hakka food. MSG is off-limits here, and the babi hong or soy pork is worth the journey.